Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for attending this Congress. We are about to reach the end of the Congress. It's been a couple of days, very intensive. We are running a, a little bit late this afternoon, but we will try to, to stick to the program, no? and we will try to reduce a little bit uh, our presentation. In, in this session, we, we will talk about cross-marketing between mountain destinations and urban locations and cities. And this is a new trend, so we have a lot a uh, number of benchmarks. In fact, I think that Andorra is a good example since it has a very strong uh, shopping and, and, and a very strong dining and cultural uh, offering. And at the same time, it has a very strong mountain offering, which as we saw from the minister, it's going to be a strength in the future. So we have two different benchmarks, one from the North America, from Vancouver, another one from the Southeast Asia, <coughs> from Korea, from the city of Ulsan, and we will see different approaches of how these cities are working in terms of doing cross-marketing, how the city can leverage on the surroundings of the mountains, and how the surroundings of the mountains can leverage on the accessibility and the offer of the different cities. Uh, for the first conference, we will have uh, Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim is coming from Ulsan. Ulsan is an industrial city well known in Korea, well known for manufacturers like uh, Hyundai or like Samsung. And this city is challenging uh, a new promotion in order to get more visitors, in order to uh, also uh, become a tourism destination a little bit, leveraging in the surrounding mountains. This city is very near to the Alps. I'm not wrong, those are the Alps in Korea. And Mr. sang Yu Kim will explain us uh, a little bit what they are doing over there. No? Uh, sam Yun King is director de la División de Turismo de la ciudad de Ulsan, en Corea del Sur. Es licenciado en Administración Pública y en, y, y en Dret de la Universidad de Corea. Tiene un máster en Administración Pública de la Universidad de Siracusa, a los Estados Unidos. Y es máster en Políticas Públicas de la Escuela que da ahí de Seúl. Actualmente uh, está Jarsin como director de Turismo de la ciudad de Ulsan. Y paso la palabra, comienza la primera ponencia. Hola, my name is Sang Yoo Kim. Uh, I'm the director of tourism of Ulsan City in Korea. Uh, I am very happy to give a presentation on mountain tourism of Ulsan City, uh, as well as uh, Korea. Uh, specifically, I will talk about why Ulsan, the industrial capital of Korea, is trying to develop mountain tourism and what we are doing. Uh, this presentation covers introduction of Ulsan, uh, meaning of mountains in Korea, uh, marketing strategies, and future of mountain tourism in Ulsan. I hope you took a look at Ulsan briefly at the promotion desk outside. Uh, in case you didn't, I will briefly introduce Ulsan. Uh, Ulsan is uh, located in the southeast area of the Korean Peninsula. Uh, it is a home to 1 million and 200,000 people. Uh, the size is approximately the same as uh, Hong Kong, China. Uh, Ulsan has a large effect country area like uh, Hong Kong. The GDP of Ulsan city is more than 41,000 euros, uh, the highest in Korea. Ulsan also ranks the top in disposable income of Seoul. Uh, for your reference, Korean Peninsula is a half size of the Spain or France. But the population of South, South uh, plus North Korea uh, is larger than them. Uh, Ulsan is called the capital city of uh, industry in South Korea. Uh, Ulsan is home to world-class companies such as Hyundai Motors, Hyundai Heavy Industries, SK Energy, and Samsung SDI. But Ulsan also has more. Uh, Ulsan is the only metropolitan city in Korea that have mountain and river a sea and port as well. So Ulsan is trying to be a more sustainable city balanced between the nature and industry. We call it Ecopolis Ulsan. 
Uh, Tewagang is one of a symbol of Ecopolis Ulsan. Uh, Tewagang River runs through the city. Uh, the waterfront of this river has a bamboo and flower gardens. It offers a huge refreshment for the citizens. And the river provides habitats for the various birds and fishes, including white herons and salmon. Uh, the beautiful Easter Sea is located 20 minutes away uh, from downtown by car. Uh, there we can ride a whale watching ship and enjoy a variety of uh, water sports. Uh, let's look at the western and northern area. Uh, nine mountains surround the Ulsan city like a folding screen. Uh, these areas are very mountainous and display uh, diverse charming features as the season change. Today I want to talk uh, specifically about this area uh, called the uh, Yongnam Alphas. Major fix are uh, Mount Gajisan and Mount Simbulsan. Uh, this mountainous area is a part of so-called Nakdong Jongmek, uh, the second largest mountain range uh, tailing, trailing uh, back to Dega mountain range. Uh, let me explain the Korean mountain land system briefly. Uh, in Korea, we have one great mountain range, Baekdu Degan, a uh, backspine of Korean Peninsula. Uh, Baekdu Degan connects Baekdu San uh, mountain in North Korea uh, with the Jirisan mountain in South Korea. You can see Baekdu San mountain on the tiger's nose uh, and Jirisan mountain on the tiger's thigh. Uh, there are 14 subsidiary ranges, including Nakdong Jungmek. Uh, Yangnam Alpha is on the Nakdong Jungmek. Uh, Nakdong Jungmek connect the Tebek city with the uh, Busan city. Uh, industrial infrastructures of uh, Korea mostly lies uh, through Nakdong River and Ma Nakdong Jungmek mountain range. Uh, if uh, South Korea and North Korea unified again, uh, we can trail from Yangnam Alphas and Jirisan to the Baekdusan mountain. Then uh, that will be uh, one of the world's top mountain trail. Uh, let me move to answer why Ulsan gave uh, attention to the mountain tourism by explaining the meaning and value of mountains in Korea. In the Korean geomancy of Pungsujiri, uh, a city like uh, Ulsan set on the best place to be prospered because it has mountains in the background of the city and lives to the front, making it easy to get food uh, and fuel uh, from the surrounding environment. Uh, Koreans also believe that uh, this type of city is uh, protected by the Holy Spirit of the mountains because we consider mountains to be both a living place and at the same time a sacred uh, spiritual place. Uh, uh, I know uh, one uh, Korean mountain culture expert, uh, Professor David Mason, uh, born in Michigan of USA and now living in Korea. Uh, he researched and published many articles on this topic. Uh, since 1960s, as Korea became industrialized, the function of uh, mountains has been rapidly changed from a spiritual place to a leisure site. According to a co Korean Gallup survey, uh, the favorite hobby of South Korean is uh, alpine hiking. About more than 18 million people go to mountain at least once a week. More than 80% of them are the general, uh, not professional alpinists. Uh, the biggest contributor to this phenomenon is the hiking clubs that almost every organization in South Korea has. They make a domestic tour business keep, keep on balanced by moving them from uh, this city to the uh, mountain. And 50% of the Korean population enjoys skiing uh, as their winter sport. South Korea has a 20 ski uh, resort that accommodates almost 8 million people yearly. As you know, uh, we host uh, the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. The game will be held in the Pyeongchang Mountain Cluster. Uh, Alphensia Resort and Yongpyeong Resort are the key venues. Uh, let's move on. Why industrial city Ulsan is uh, trying to promote mountain tourism? Korean peoples have given attention to the value of mountains because the lifestyle has changed and the tourism industry has grown rapidly. 
Uh, the five-day work week has changed the, the Korean lifestyle since uh, uh, 2005. Uh, expenditures in uh, frequencies of and days for tours have uh, rapidly increased. According to the 2013 WTTC uh, analysis, uh, WTTC means World Travel and Tourism Council. Uh, the growth rate of South Korea's tourism industry is the highest in Asia and 11th place in the world. This change has clearly been reflected in the tourism-related industry. Uh, the size of a 2005 outdoor market was a 100 billion won, but it was a 600 billion won in uh, 2014, which means a six times growth in a decade. Uh, this growth of the tourism industry has a significant uh, influence on Ulsan. Uh, which is looking, for, looking at an opportunity to diversify an industry structure. Uh, the production of service industry, including tourism, uh, comprise just a quarter of uh, overall GDP of Ulsan. So Ulsan City is really caring about the stagnation of the manufacturing industries uh, these days. So Ulsan is uh, trying to develop service and tourism industries and make a business structure more sustainable. Therefore, uh, the tourism industry, and specifically mountain tourism, can be a key economic, economic growth engine for Ulsan City. Then let me introduce uh, what we have done and what we will do uh, with the Yongnam Alpha's. Let's call this a strategy IC, ICCC. Uh, Ulsan City has set up a master plan on uh, 2010, targeting 2019 uh, to sy systematically develop the Yangnam Alpha's. To decide the key project, we have done a survey to marketing effectively. Uh, the results indicate that visitors go hiking in summer or fall. It is so easy to understand uh, because Ulsan doesn't have enough snow in winter. So family tours and club hiking are the most common and visitors ask uh, better tourism uh, information systems. Based on this data, uh, we have established the ICCC marketing strategies. The first uh, is the intimate uh, strategy or friendly strategy. Uh, it is uh, closely related uh, to a promotion strategy. We are building friendly image of the Yangnam Alphas to help people think of a city uh, not just as an industrial site, uh, but as a fun, interesting place to visit. So we have created a logo for the Yangnam Alphas and a character called the uh, Aksedori, uh, grass kit, uh, so-called, to symbolize the spacious uh, uh, Uralia grass, which occupy an area of uh, 330 square kilometers. Uh, we are building uh, various products, such as keychains and badges, by using this character. And we have published the storytelling guidebook of the Yangnam Alphas. Uh, next, we have provided uh, the spaces uh, for enjoying and relaxing on the mountain. Uh, we host a variety of events, uh, including the mountain music festival, uh, trekking competitions, to help people enjoy the mountain itself with their family and friends. Uh, we have also held the Cherry Blossom Festival in spring, a Korean barbecue festival to promote uh, local VIP, and the BAMP 2013 World Tour Film Festival. Uh, those all reduce the emotional distance between the mountain and the urban area. Uh, second is to make uh, people save time to come to the mountains. Uh, first, there are mountains near your neighborhood. Uh, how long does it take to the, uh, get to the mountain from your city? Uh, mostly, it takes at least one hour. In Europe, I think uh, it took uh, more than four, five hours or one day and so on. So, uh, but in Ulsan, it takes uh, less than 30 minutes. Uh, people from Ulsan and you know, our neighborhood, uh, Busan and Daegu, frequently visit the Yangnam Alphas because of its proximity. However, it is not easy for the people from other cities uh, to access the area that quickly. So therefore, we launched a tourist product uh, that connect the capital region with the Yangnam Alphas in two hours by KTX 
Uh, KTX is Korean bullet train. So we have also uh, introduced the city tour bus uh, route for weekend hikers. A company has built a cable car through west side of Yangnam Alphas. And Ulsan is currently in the process of building another cable car on the east face of uh, Yangnam Alphas. Uh, in addition, we have uh, made a looping trail uh, by connecting several tracks of a mountain and make it uh, more convenient and uh, enjoy more beautiful sceneries. Uh, it enabled the uh, hikers to enjoy the real charming of the Yangnam Alpas. This trail is called uh, Hanul Aksekil. It means uh, in English, a uh, grass of sky trail. We are so, so proud of this uh, trail and uh, we hope this trail to be on to be able to compete with the Jam Muir Trail in California or Milford Trek of uh, New Zealand. So we have also introduced the Dulekil. Uh, Dulekil means uh, a circumference road. It gave uh, visitors an opportunity to walk through a connection of villages and meet peoples living in the Yangnam Alphas. Yeah, in addition to shortening the physical distance, uh, the information system is being improved substantially. Uh, as you can see in the background, uh, the Discovery Center is uh, under construction. We will give extensive information and safety service. A screen for the Mountain Movie Festival will also be provi provided in, in this center. Uh, this center is expected to play a key role after, after the fall of next year. Uh, the third is a comprehensive strategy. Uh, people of all ages, from children to senior citizens, individual hikers, group hikers, and family members come to the mountains for different reasons. To meet this uh, very uh, demand of our visitors, uh, Ulsan City has improved uh, the Yangnam Alpas as an integrated mountain tourist site. Uh, in co cooperation with the citizens and many small businesses, uh, now tourists can enjoy MTB and ATB. Uh, paragliding and artificial rock climb. Uh, these places have uh, become student tour sites as well. Uh, our younger visitors really enjoy adventure uh, in the mountain. We have expanded our natural uh, recreation forest for visitors who want to recharge uh, uh, their uh, vitality. And some Buddhist temples, including uh, very famous Tongdosa in Korea, uh, is providing healing programs with a temple stay. Uh, we are setting site for beaker camping for some of the case visitors. Uh, lastly, I will introduce our cooperative strategy. The Yangnam Alphas is maintained not only by the people of Ulsan. Uh, there are five municipalities around the Yangnam Alphas, including Ulsan. Uh, this local government the Korean Forest Service, hundreds of hiking clubs, and nature preservation groups are cooperating with each other to maintain the Yangnam Alpha sustainable. Moreover, Ulsan have organized the World Alpha City Association uh, in association with the Titlis Lotea Company of Luzern of Switzerland and Queenstown of the Netherlands, Doyama City of Japan, and Hebei Province of China. Uh, this this uh, area all have uh, mountain ranges called Alphas. Uh, we Alphas cities are uh, advertising each other and discussing how to promote mountain tourism. Uh, until now, we are studying them, actually, but I hope uh, we can teach them uh, someday in the future. Uh, here today, my presentation is uh, also part of international cooperation. So far, I talked about cross-marketing strategies between Ulsan and Yangnam Alphas. Then let me show you uh, our performance result and vision for the future of Yangnam Alphas. Yangnam Alphas marketing has changed the image of Ulsan city. Uh, people who thought uh, Ulsan city as just an industrial city, uh, now they see Ulsan city as a tourist destination as well. Uh, people who once visited Ulsan only for business, uh, now visit uh, Ulsan for tourism, or for a hike in the mountains. The mountain tourism of Ulsan City has just begun. Uh, by expanding our best effort 
to showcase the beauty of the Yongnam Alphas, uh, it can be a best practice of mountain tourism. Uh, the vision of Yongnam Alphas is that uh, by 2020, we will make uh, and promote Hanalok Sekgil, uh, one of the world's top 10 mountain trails. Also, we will strive to make this beautiful provincial park nicer than na national park through the cooperation uh, with our citizens. When we meet next time, let's go hiking on Hanulep Sekil, where the sky, wind, and silver grass come together beautifully. Uh, finally, I want to finish my presentation with uh, introducing uh, three versions who wrote uh, Back to Degan Trail. Uh, Back to Degan means, uh, uh, I said already, uh, the back spine of Korean Peninsula. So in 20, uh, 2007, uh, two New Zealand hikers uh, Roger Seffert and his uh, friend Andrew Douch uh, trekked uh, back to Degan, a very long way of uh, 700 kilometers uh, during 70 days. And they published uh, the book with the help of uh, Professor Mason, who I said before in the slide of uh, uh, meaning of uh, mountains in Korea. Uh, I'm sure that if they know uh, the back to Degan mountains, they know every aspect of Korea mountains. Uh, so I asked the Professor David Mason uh, a recommendation for Yongnam Alphas, and he gave me a great phrase uh, saying like this. Kept with a famous gold pampas grass field and with a plenty of forest on its slope, Yongnam Alphas offer a scenic grandeur uh, throughout the four seasons. International lovers of mountains, uh, including both those devoted to hiking fantastic tracks and those appreciative of their sacred character, are uh, highly recommended to visit the Yangnam Alphas. Uh, thank you. Gracias.